Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another day in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I would say good morning, good afternoon, good night, but I don't know what time you're watching this. Today we're going to be visiting our friend Karate Kid's Island Mele Mele. The name is inspired from the Pokemon franchise, and it's a very tropical themed island, so it's very fitting. Can't wait to see everything that they've done to their island. I, I had a quick peek of it before. I'm sure it's going to be even better now. Hello, hello! Thank you for having us. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at their flag here. Ooh, I like that flag. It's very pretty. Okay, and as usual, we'll take a look at the map. Look at all this terraforming, guys. Holy heck. Look at the little star pond they have. Oh my goodness. That's so great. They have Chief Al. We love Al. <laughs> Hornsby. Chatter. O'Hare. Phoebe. Dottie. Olivia. Mac and Jambet. What a wonderful little crew they have. I like it. I love their crew. Even Jambet, who sometimes annoys me. We'll take a quick look at their passport. A Lola surprise! <laughs> the tropically grown enthusiast. I love that. A Lola. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're going to follow them around. Beautiful entrance way to start. And Flick's here. Flick knows a good house, a good island when he sees one. I'm going to set house because I'm looking at their house. I guess we're going to tour their house first. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Is this a house or is this a hotel? Because this looks like an entrance to a hotel. Oh, hey, it's the bad guy from Alola region. That's great. This has got to be the entranceway to the one hotel. Oh, it looks so good. Very tropical. Hold on. Do they have another house? No, this is their only house. Maybe that's just the way that they theme the entranceway. Very pretty. I like this. Usually whenever I see the indoor fountain, it's because somebody's got it as, like, their, their, in their bathroom or something. But this is a whole, whole different idea. I love it. And that wall is very perfect for a tropical hotel. I've never been to one, but I would believe that they would have that walling. <laughs> and this is the fish room. Oh my goodness, look at all the fish they have. Is this a Finding Nemo reference? I see Nemo and Dory. And Flo. The, these are the fish that were in the fish tank, weren't they? <laughs> this is amazing. I love this. I guess that's not Flo, because that would be Flo. Because Flo was that kind of fish, right? That's... Uh, that's not a beta, but I mean, even after playing so many hours of Animal Crossing, I don't know my animals. <laughs> but still, this is wonderful. I love this little fish room. A little catfish. This is brilliant. And they have a fish plaque in here. Maybe that was their whole intention. Maybe all of the rooms are going to be themed like this. It'd be really cool. It's a fish room and then a bug room and then... So it's pretty much like the museum 2.0. <laughs> Just gotta get that coelacanth. Look at those posters! Like Zoink Scoob! <laughs> row, row, Reggie! <laughs> oh, this is amazing! Can you imagine if you just had an always ready birthday cake on your table? True cuisine. <laughs> I feel like anyone who's like a culinary chef is going to see this and be like, Hey. Popcorn and cake? No, have real food. Real food is good too, but cake at, at, your, at your beck and call? 
beautiful. <laughs> All right, then we're going to move on to the middle room. Looks like they're blocking the entrance. I wonder what's going to be in here. Ooh, this is an indoor pool. It's even got a little lifeguard seat. That's amazing. I love that. Oh, this is so great. With the beach ball and like a little place to wash your feet and a little tub to soak in. I love this. This is so great. We got the swordfish. The whole island has seemed half as well as this building. I swear, this is going to be incredible. I really love how green this room is, though. And I don't think I mentioned that before, but all the plants and stuff, it's really beautiful. And this is the bedroom. <gasps> Look at all of the WWE posters! Oh, and then there's King DDD and there's a Luigi. At least I think they're WWE. Those guys look like WWE to me. I could be wrong. Those guys look like Mario and Luigi. And then there's King DDD and Waluigi, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong and Banjo. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> oh, and they got most of their posters. That's or not their posters, their pictures. That's so great. What's going on on their computer? It looks like they broke the screen almost. Heck. Oh, a little bit of water damage, I guess. <laughs> this is so great. Maybe I'm leading, maybe I'm thinking that they're uh, WWE because of this. That could be it. That could definitely be it. And a little pot full of chili. So you can eat chili while you're watching or playing games. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I haven't seen anybody do the dual monitor setup in Animal Crossing yet, so well done. <laughs> Alright, now let's head downstairs. Usually people do some crazy things with their downstairs. They got the coelacanth! Yo, it's a games room! Oh man. I wish you could play the ping pong though. That'd be so cool. But they got like hoops, a microwave, oh... This person, Karate Kid, you you remember to have food in all of your rooms. It's brilliant. That is exactly how I have my house. Not exactly. I wish I had my house like that. Food in every single room? That'd be perfect. <laughs> Holy heck. It looks so good. Got a little gambling area over in the corner. Roulette. I bid 5,000 on black. Hey, look at me go. 50-50 odds though, so you know, the odds were in my favor. Alright, now let's go wait outside. Karate Kid to help continue leading us on the tour. While we're waiting, let's take a quick little look at what's going on down here. It's like a little barbecue area. Alright, I'm vibing it. Need a few more chairs though. But I guess if it's just you living on your island and you don't have siblings to share it with, then, you know, that's fair. <laughs> I guess I'm going to self-guide for a little bit. That's okay. I love how they have flowers filling every single space so that there's no there's no real dead areas. Like it constantly looks full without looking too busy. The few green spaces that they did leave, it looks like it was very intentional to try and kind of make it feel like you could still move around freely. It's quite nice. I definitely enjoy it. That's a funky little design. I haven't seen that on a beach towel before. That looks so good. I love that. 
We got this little resting area. It looks like they're looking for me in the background. <laughs> little resting area to sunbathe. <laughs> got some towels so you can wipe away the sweat when you bathe in the sun for too long. What do we have going on over here? Can we hop over here? Oh, we can. This is a flamingo garden! Oh, heck! I love that. I haven't seen anybody make a flamingo garden before. That's so cool. They got all the different colors of the flamingos, too. I love it. This island would probably be really nice to see during the day. But it's also still really nice at night. Tropical at night, definitely just as good as tropical at day. And we got another little beachside area. Oh, and you can overlook the waterfall. Oh, that would be so pretty in real life. Think about that. You just dip out of your step out of the pool after taking a dip. Sit down in your chair, one of your loved ones, and just kind of stare off at a beautiful waterfall. Oh, I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling it, in the words of Shulk. <laughs> oh, dude, I love that. It's so pretty. And this is their campsite area. All right. Very close to the beach and very close to the club. Oh, snap. Looks like we're going clubbing. It's too bad there's not, like, an actual dance emote. Is that perfect? Is that Donkey Kong? <laughs> I think that's Donkey Kong. Hold on, you guys can't see it. There's Donkey Kong. It's like, right on the side of the DJ booth. <laughs> that's beautiful. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I love the way that the patterns mash... Mash? Mesh together like that. Looks really nice. I really like it. I'm gonna go down this way. I'm gonna see if there's anything more on this beach. Oh, we got the workbench, and that's the Flamingo Rock. Okay, we've seen that. We saw that. I didn't point out the workbench, but that's, you know, that's okay. <laughs> Go back around this way. Let's follow over the bridge, see what's going on over here. I love the wind flowers. Wind flowers are seriously underrated. We see the roses everywhere, but wind flowers? Not super common. They definitely fit the tropical theme. They look like they'd be tropical flowers. Oh, look at this fountain! Oh, this is such a pretty sight. Hold on. We gotta get a picture of this. <laughs> and them in the background like that? That's perfect. <laughs> Heads up, guys. It's probably gonna be in the thumbnail. <laughs> and a little sitting area so you can just sit on top of the waterfall. Very nice. Very big change from sitting at the bottom of the waterfall, but still very nice. Oh, and this is a little entrance to Red Secret Cove. I love it. So nice. Oh, and a little cookie cart stall. This is probably like a saved space so that whenever we get new stores, a store can go there. I love how the egg lamps are used as lights on this island. It's very fitting. It doesn't look like all of the bunny day stuff, you know? It looks like it was intended for a beach theme. Much like this, holy heck! We got the Dorados, which I believe is Spanish for gold. These pink fountains with the pink shells. 
stunning. It looks so good. This is like the little beachside walkway carnival. What's it called? Like a pier? You know how some piers have carnivals on them? Or was that just in Bob's Burgers and I've been misled? <laughs> I mean, it's very likely that that's just in Bob's Burgers, but I could also see it being a real life thing. I feel like the Santa Monica Pier would have that. I've never been there, so I don't know. Oh, hi, Chatter. How's it going, bud? More flamingos. We got some pansies. Oh, and this is the shopping district. Tiki torches really sell it. And the banana... I just noticed... They're not bananas. They're ananas. The pineapples on your shirt and your hat. Beautiful. Oh, is this like another little workshop area? And you can change the gas pump? I didn't know that. Oh, that's so cool. Well, you learn something new every way. Every way, every day. You can customize the gas pumps. This is another little resting area on the beach. More turtle shells. Oh, that one looks like a mushroom almost. Beautiful entrance to the museum. More residential area over here. And another fountain just outside resident services. Oh, heck. That looks really pretty. I love that. And they even use brick to continue on from the brick pattern. I wish you could properly continue on from it. That'd be really nice. Another little beach area so that you can just kind of watch over the star shape. Oh, that's really lovely. I'm going to take another picture. Perfect. I don't know what picture we got. Hopefully it was the one I wanted. <laughs> Oop. And we're going to pop over here. Is this supposed to be like a little workout area? I guess it's not really a workout area. I don't see anything to work out with. But we got a vending machine and a water cooler. So, you know. Most gyms also have those. Believe it or not. My gym used to have a vending machine. Those were the days. I suppose it's counterintuitive, though. Ooh, the angled bridge. Angled bridges are not easy to make. And to use well, especially. Look at this little area. Oh my goodness. Got like a little pizza oven going on. You can sit by the water and make a pizza. I need to the pizza. Beautiful. I love that. The wooden bridge is definitely perfect for that, too. Alright, I don't know if I'm missing anything, so I'm going to follow Karate Kid for a bit. Actually, did we go this way? I don't know if we went this way. Oh, no, we did not. Look at this little seating area. This, is like, this isn't this is just like a tropical island, okay? This is like a resort. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, man. I would love to sit under the cedar trees if I didn't know that that would result in a lot of pine needles falling on you. That's okay. Maybe it's different in tropical islands and there's less pine needles. That's a possibility. Oh, and this is the top half of the diner. Okay. Hello, I am working. What would you like to eat, my friend? Ah, yes, I'd like some pineapple juice. I am sorry, we are all out of pineapple juice. No pineapples on this island. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm having fun, right? <laughs> Holy heck. Island is super nice. I think that's about covers everything, though. I don't think there's much more to check out. We've gone through almost everything. 
more villager houses. Oh, their little secret backyard. They got a barbecue going on and they can fish just in their backyards. Oh, these must be your favorite villagers. Holy heck. I love this. This looks so nice. I never even thought to give them like a river that they can do stuff in their backyard. Absolutely brilliant. I think we're coming up to just about the end. This is the angled walkway. Okay, I'm just going to ask them in the chat if there's anything else. Did I miss anything? Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. Heck. Alright. Well, thank you so much for having us, Karate Kid. I appreciate the heck out of that. Your island was absolutely gorgeous, my friend. I can't wait to see if you do anything new to it. It was super fantastic. If anyone wants to, leave a comment for the creator in the chat. In the chat. I do this every time. In the comments. That would be super cool. Let them know what you thought of it. Tell them how much you loved it. I'm sure they'd love to hear that. It was super awesome. I really liked it. I hope you guys did too. Please leave a like on the video if you could. It helps the YouTube algorithm know that we're having lots of fun here. And it helps me know that you want to see more videos like this, you know? Ah, oh, this was such a beautiful island. <laughs> Until next time, I love you all. And Aki Squad, out. <laughs>